Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, wherever you are. A beautiful morning, a beautiful day the Lord has made for us. We rejoice and be glad in it. In the month of August. And I'm so, I'm so grateful to the Lord for the journey we have been having throughout the entire year, looking at the various themes. And August, we've been dealing with all things work together. All things work together. And then, my dear friends, I'm saying, I can trust him with all things. I can trust him with all things. If you take Romans 8.28 in its own context, and we assume you're doing the reflection today with that context, all things work together for good means that I can trust him enough to fix whatever is not working. I can trust him enough to navigate that which is not working in my life, to bring it to a place where it can be able to bring the right results. Because if he's putting it all together, then I can trust him with it. But then I'm looking at, I'm going to it for you from Ephesians 2, chapter, 6 and, uh, chapter 2, verse 6 and 7, the Amplified Version. It says, it says, And he raised us up together with him when we believed, and seated us with him in the heavenly places, because we are in Christ Jesus. Then verse 7 says this, And he did this, so that the ages to come, he might clearly show the immeasurable and unsurpassed riches of his grace. His, uh, of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus by providing for us our redemption. Now, why I'm reading the scriptures because I like verse 7 so much, one of my personal favorites, is that he took upon himself, you know, to show us the goodness of what is found in him. He took upon himself to market himself. Let me put it that way. God put upon himself to show us by himself how good he is. To show us by himself how powerful he is. To show us by himself how kind he is. When I say I can trust him with all things, it means that if he, through the blood of Jesus, is when I can say all things work together for good, then therefore I have a better place right now to say that I can trust with all things. Because if you decided by your own goodness to show me the immeasurable and unsurpassed riches of your grace, out of your own goodness, God, you decided to show me I didn't ask you to show me out of your goodness you to show me. And that which you showed me was good enough and is good enough to bring me to a life that is redeemed. A life that has been bought back. Redemption is being bought back. A life that has been bought back from, from, um, um, from, from bondage. You know, um, we are being bought back from various things that held us. That was, that's what redemption is. Redemption is paying the price to buy me back. To buy me back to the life that God intended for me. So I can trust him with all things because out of his goodness he chose to show me grace. Out of his goodness he chose to show me mercy. Out of his goodness he chose to show me goodness. Out of his goodness, my dear friends, he chose to expose to me how wonderful he is. Therefore, I can trust him with all things. If I can trust him with my redemption, then I can trust him with my house. I can trust him with my marriage, with my family, with my health, with my finances. I can trust him because in him, he will work all things together, all things together for my good. That is what we need to believe today. But he'll work it out. So let us trust him. Let us pray. Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life, your goodness, your mercy, your compassion, and your power that breathes upon us every single day. I believe that, Lord, you have, our, you have our goodness and you've thought about us in your heart, Lord. Your goodness thinks about us. Your goodness fashions us. Your goodness prepares us, protects us. Your goodness, Lord, makes a way for us where there is no way. I pray that, Lord, today, as we trust you with our lives, with our families, with our children, with our destiny, with our future, whatever it is you are trusting with, Lord, if you are willing to show us out of your kindness that you love us so much and are willing to die just to prove your love for us, then, Father, we choose to trust you today. And out of this trust, Lord, may your redemptive power work over the lives of your sons and daughters. May they be set free. May they be liberated. May they see their lives turn around. In Jesus' name, pray and Do stay blessed, my, my dear friends. See you again next time, same time. Stay